shopping bags. It's late night special! <laughs> Education coordinator at Sheep Up and sex educator, Emery Jane! Magician, Michael Douglas! Comedian, Jeremiah Coughlin! Musical guest, Sam Hume! So I'm so excited for tonight. Me too. So we uh, have wanted uh, to get somebody here from Shebop. Yeah, uh, how do y'all so feel about Shebop? Shebop, you been there? Feminist sex store. So great, we have sex educator and podcaster, Amory Jane, yeah. gonna talk to us about sex. Yeah, we also have the comedian, stand-up comedian, Jeremiah Coughlin is in the house. He's funny, he's yeah. funny. And magician, Michael Douglas is yeah. here. Yeah. Not the, Not the actor. The he yeah, hasn't yeah. switched careers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have some great music tonight. Uh, Sam Cummins is here. He's awesome. I'm yeah. so excited. Uh, Electronica. He's very good. Yeah, but before we get to all that, mm. we need to start by talking about the news. Oh, uh, <laughs> the news. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I gotta remember that we have choreogra choreography. <laughs> choreography. Uh, on Wednesday, former Trump attorney Michael Cohen testified to the House Oversight Committee that the president is a racist, mm. a con man, and a cheat. Mm. Yep, when asked for comment, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said Cohen is not a believable source because he hangs out with racist con men cheaters. Yeah. So, yeah. can't believe a word he says. No, and Conan, uh, Cohen also <laughs> provided the committee a copy of a canceled personal check for $35,000 that Trump signed himself to cover up his affair with Stormy Daniels. Now, the only thing that would be more obvious than that is if in the memo line he wrote crimes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that just, I don't know, that, that would be the only way, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah you can't do that, can you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he would, though. He would. He would, that's yeah. the thing. Crime. And Ivanka Trump uh, said in an interview that Americans want to work hard for their money and don't want a guaranteed living oh, wage. No. Ivanka continued, in, quote, in that way, Americans are a lot like the Chinese sweatshop workers I use for my clothing line. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uncomfortable. Uh, but okay, well, so Nicolas Maduro, Venezuela's maybe president, has accused the U.S. government of fabricating a crisis, an attempt to start a war in South America. Really, Maduro? You think that the U.S. would just make something like that and invade an oil-rich country again? <laughs> <laughs> How many times do you think we do no, that? A lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Uh, new research shows that the number of children and teenagers who have tried vaping has doubled mm. in just five years. Research also shows that the number of lame nerds who haven't tried vaping are lame ass nerds who aren't invited to my sweet vape party. Yeah, vape. <laughs> Well, in local news this week, people in Portland area received anywhere from two to three inches of snowfall on Wednesday, and people were in a frenzy. Now, okay, this is the only time two to three inches and frenzy have been used in the same sentence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Jay. I've had some good two to three inch oh snowfall parties. I'll let you know. have it. We'll talk more <laughs> with, uh, with Amory Jane about that. <laughs> a Texas lawmaker says he's not worried about the measles outbreak because of antibiotics. Later, he added that he's not worried about cancer because of orange juice. Yeah. So. Yeah. It helps, it helps. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, but 660 mile iceberg is set to break off from the Antarctic shelf. 
the iceberg hopes to explore some country blues stuff, you know, <laughs> on its solo journey, but on tour it will do some of the old Antarctic shelf stuff, so just don't worry about that. <laughs> in <a s> <laughs> That's my favorite joke in this. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah. Play the they'll little play round the, the corner. Okay, you guys, they'll play the head. <laughs> so. yeah. An escaped pot-bellied pig was lured back to his owners with an entire pack of the new most stuffed Oreos. This actually fits with the brand's new marketing campaign, mm -hmm. most stuffed Oreos without the resealable package because you're gonna eat them all, you pot-bellied pig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna eat them all. I guess I'm the only <laughs> pot-bellied pig here. Well, speaking of pot-bellies, uh, so this <laughs> week, a dead humpback whale mysteriously appeared in the Amazon jungle. I mean, did you hear about this? Yeah. yeah. Well, also, mysteriously, there was a ball gag that was in my Amazon cart. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep coming no back. Knows. We learn no more and more about Jay's sex yeah. life every week, you yeah. guys. A little it's pink a glitch. on the side. <laughs> a man in Arlington, Texas, lost a bet this weekend. Subsequently, he had to cover himself in peanut butter and walk around a dog park while dogs licked him. <laughs> in related news, this is the 15th year he's lost that exact bet. Uh, <laughs> so sick. Well, according to viewers in the UK, Netflix actually changed the ending for the movie with Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams, The Notebook, and it, to make it less sad. You know, and they also changed the ending to Titanic, where it doesn't sink, and my dog Skip, that didn't die, and the end of the movie Seven, so instead of a head, there was just a cake in the box. <laughs> I'm just disappointed they couldn't make The Notebook good. Yeah. 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 Oh, what is oh, the yeah. night oh, Who hates the notebook as much as yeah. I do? Who hates the notebook? <laughs> Everybody. Uh, yeah, a lot of Nicholas Sparks fans here today. <laughs> I mean, I love Ryan Gosling. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, so, but the but the movie. I just hate writing. <laughs> the, the notebook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd let you sit in it for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you, Jay? I'm so good. So good? Yeah. How was your week? My week was really good. I'm continuing my yoga practice. Are there any yoga people out there? <laughs> that, that, that doesn't seem representative. Of First of all, there honestly. were only a few, and second of all, they were all half-hearted. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I went, but I didn't go. Yeah. I have a mat. That's what that, that's that what that count. is. No, yeah, no, I go to yoga once or twice a week. I have a studio, and you know, I just I love it. If I don't go, my body hurts. You're getting old. Mm -hmm. Thirty-four. Yeah. Good for you. It's good. I should do something like that. That would be great. What else is new? I started watching uh, Russian Dolls. Russian Dolls. Yeah. Who's on board? Oh my God, Russian Dolls. So what episode are you at? So, so I got to. I it was continuous, so uh -huh. I, I lost count. But um, uh, at first I was like, oh, it's it's ground. It's a new take on Groundhog's mm -hmm, Day. Yeah. Felt a little samey, and then whoop, yeah, it took the turn, and and. Uh, Actually, an elevator incident is a recurring yes. nightmare of mine, mm. and that's where I stopped. Well, I will continue to watch. Okay, well, that's at the end of episode three, okay. which I have never been more gripped by a television show than that. Who's, who's seen the end of episode three? Yeah. Right. Um, spoiler alert: um, when she's like, "Hey, we're gonna die," and he's like, "Yeah, I die all the time." Mind blown. Yeah, and my boyfriend predicted there'd be other people. But it's hard to know what episode you're on because <laughs> it keeps starting over. So anyway, you should watch it. It's in that, you know, I loved uh, Run Lola Run. It's like one of my favorite. Oh. You guys remember the 90s or early 2000s or turn of the century yeah. German experimental film? <laughs> <laughs> Russian roulette or the roulette. And she's like, it, oh. it came out like Memento and Slacker. Like there were all those uh -huh. like play with the format movies mm -hmm, at the time. Mm -hmm. Well, but Netflix, so is anybody, did anybody watch the OA? <laughs> yes, I like you. <laughs> well, OA, OA is great, and it's a Netflix original, and like season two is about to drop. The trailer just dropped, so. All right, I'll have to get caught up on that. Bored. Jay, you keep feeding me yeah. stuff to watch. All right, well, we're going to do uh, a little game just to get things started. Uh, we don't know you. You don't know us very well. Mm -hmm. uh, we know each other, but do we really know each other, Jay? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> but we're going to get to know each other a little bit better 
uh, with a game that we like to call Did You Eat It? Whoa! Did you eat it? <laughs> Baby, did you eat it today? <laughs> uh. Great. Oh, I'm so excited wow, to play this game. that was sexy. Yeah. Uh, there's already a sex feel <laughs> in the room. Yeah, this is a Woo! sexy show. Did Who's you feeling eat? sexy? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay. So these slides, um, there's gonna be two images of food, and one of them I have eaten, and one of them I haven't. And Stacy's playing, but audience, feel free to play. Uh, audience watching online, fuck you. Okay. So <laughs> they can write in the comments. They, they can. Write in the comments. We won't read. Them. We won't All be right. able to see it. All right. Slide <laughs> number one. Slide number one um, I'm ready. is okay. Moose meat mm. or bear meat. Mm. Audience, what do you think? That's what I was gonna say. Okay. I was also gonna say moose meat. You're saying moose meat? Yes. I, was I have that. eaten moose meat. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It was in my time in Alaska, and so I ate moose. And then there was a potlatch, and there was bear meat, but I didn't know about it because like it's a uh, taboo for uh, anyone but men to eat bear meat in that culture, and so it's like not with all the other food. And I didn't know about it, and I could have because I'm a man, um, but. I wish I had. Man but, meat. but you could have taken this as a moment to be like, but I didn't because I'm not going to eat it until everyone can eat bear meat. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, you totally gave away that you would have eaten it. Uh, okay, slide number two. Okay. two. You're, you're good. You're on fire. Okay, oatmeal <laughs> or grits? I can't believe you've only eaten one of these things. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> there is one, one of those things. These are staples. Things, one of those things I have never eaten in my life. And my family didn't eat it, and um, grits. I'm gonna say grits. grits. You guys think, think it's oatmeal? grits? Oatmeal. Cooked oatmeal is pretty nasty. I have never eaten oatmeal. Oh, oh, I never. Wow. What? Not even in like an oatmeal cookie, no, like no, uncooked, like or no. what, just like, baked. Like a, like a granola bar. Granola bar? I mean, maybe. Oh. But like, oh. I've never eaten oatmeal, and I never <laughs> will. I think you just realized there's oatmeal and granola. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you love it. Shocking revelations. You love it. I did not like it. Okay, okay. Slide, this is the last one for me. Okay, here we okay. go. All right, rose veal in London or lamb steaks in Paris. This is also includes some humble bragging. <laughs> 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 Clearly, you'll see mine has some, my last one is some humble bragging as well. Um, gosh, I really want it to be rose veal because I had never, I've never heard of it before. Okay, the audience, what do you guys think? Yell it out. They're pretty split. This, this is a good one. Um, I'm going to say rose veal uh, also added to this that you went to the Hunter Kindle wedding in the UK. I did, yeah. I did. So I'm going to use that as a, a little tipping point. Okay, what do you think, audience? Rose See, they all switch now okay, that they have yeah. that information. I, I've never eaten rose veal what? in London. It was lamb steaks in Paris. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, have really you ever eaten lamb in the US? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I am a vegetarian right now for animal cruelty, but uh, oh. yeah. Roseville, Roseville is really fucked up. It's like a, a calf. It grows up in a box, so no. that's, that's, that's oh. veal in general. Yeah. Oh, now yeah. that got yeah. dark. I yeah. thought it was just like the way it was served. It looked like a rose. No, yeah. So it doesn't use its muscles, and it tastes so good. Oh, okay. It tastes like stuff. All right, yeah. it's my okay. turn. My turn. Yeah. Get to know me, Jay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Here we go. Okay. Did, did you I eat it? Eat it? Did you eat it? Lamb's brain or sheep testicles? Oh my god. Okay. Well, sheep testicles. Okay, sheep testicles seems like kind of common. Um, uh, I'm gonna. Okay, what do you think, audience? I'm gonna say that you have eaten sheep's testicles. I have not. I ate lamb. No! Oh my god. I did god. just the taste. I was in Turkey <laughs> as an exchange student when I was in high school for okay. Ramadan. They use. They, they butcher a certain number of animals depending mm -hmm. on how wealthy the family is and they give away the best meat and then they keep like the organs and the brain and they eat that. Uh, and lamb's brain tastes like nothing and melts in your mouth. <laughs> what a slogan. So there you go. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, yeah. It's really not, it tasted like um, lemon because it had been cooked in lemon juice. So uh, somebody okay. asked if it was sweet or savory. Yeah. Tastes like whatever it's cooked in because it's brain, it's gross. You're not <laughs> supposed to eat it. All right. <laughs> Did I eat it? Frog's legs or fufu? No, well, I don't even know what fufu is. Fufu is an African staple in lines of like grits or oatmeal. Uh -huh. um, frog legs, as you know, are a French delicacy. Okay. Um, oh, I know. Oh. Okay. I need, you know, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yes. Okay, you have eaten fufu. I have eaten fufu. Yeah! yeah! Everyone gets that because it's just fun to say fufu. <laughs> Uh, I took an African literature class, and as my report, I went to this African store, and I bought palm wine, things they'd mentioned, palm wine, fufu, and brought it, and my uh, uh, Nigerian professor was so moved because he didn't know it was in Chicago that there was a place, but fufu, you're supposed to have, like, it's all about the sauces, mm -hmm. um, so I prepared really a, a gross fufu for him, oh. so but I ate like, not good thanks. fufu, yeah. <laughs> All right, last slide. Last one, last one. Here's my humble brag. Milk bone <laughs> or Play-Doh? Stop bragging. <laughs> Stop bragging. Wait, let me I, I, let me revise it. Milk bone in London oh, or, or Play-Doh in Paris? Jay, which one? Uh, I think, what do you, what do you think, Adi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you've eaten both. I have. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Th whoever yeah. said that, thank you, thank yep. you. Oh I, my God, Trick yes. question, I have eaten both. <laughs> With my friend Cara Francisconi, growing up, we were adventurous and we tasted milk bones just to see what they tasted like. And the Play-Doh, we rolled out and put cinnamon on. It was homemade Play-Doh, so I didn't oh. have the colors. We rolled it out, we were like, oh, this is like cookie dough. It was not good. No. <laughs> the milk bone, however. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a great game. Yay! That was Did You Eat It? Did you eat it? Baby, did you eat it today? I love that game. I want to play, I want to play that game more. Did you that like was that really game? fun. Nice, yeah. Like, I had no idea what you were going to pick, you know, so yeah. it's very surprising. Okay, uh, I'm ready for some comedy. I'm ready to laugh my belly. So uh, <laughs> our next performer uh, has an album out that you're going to be able to buy here mm -hmm. later. Oh, is it this one right it's here? It's this mm. one called Seamus McGravy. <laughs> Seamus, it's spelled Seamus. I'm oh, glad okay. he had said it earlier. Is there a sticker in here? Oh, there's a sticker in here. Um, Free sticker with purchase yeah. of, a, of a CD. Yeah. It, hopefully it gives you instruction on how to download it. Yeah. Because no, does anyone have a place to put a CD anymore? No, no I don't either. <laughs> on your mantle, because it's cool art on there. Uh, this performer uh, has just been promoted to a feature level mm -hmm. at Helium. Uh, which means he gets to do more time. It's a big uh, honor. He's incredible. And you can see him all around town. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Jeremiah Coughlin. <laughs> hey guys, how's everybody doing? Good? <laughs> Wonderful? Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I also am wonderful. Uh, Six months ago, I got married. I've been married wow. for six months, yes. Clap for that. Uh, where, is there married people here? Yes, oh wow. Portland, showing up. That doesn't usually happen. Uh, few and far between that I get any married people in an audience on a Friday night. Uh, yeah, I don't know, people act like it's a big pain in the ass to be married. So far, uh, we're killing it, man. It's just high fives and blowjobs. Every day in my house. <laughs> My husband's name is Dave. Uh, I'm not even gay, I just like a good hard high five, you know? <laughs> Ladies, you're just not bringing it when it comes to the high five department, so I had to change it up. Um, that's not true, I, I have a wife named Julia. Uh, she's, she's wonderful, but not a great high fiver. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm like, you know, I'd suck a dick if I could get a good, just, uh, just a good hard high five, but. Uh, we do, we don't actually fight, we don't fight about much. Uh, we got a fight the other day about whether you can get in trouble for throwing a banana peel out of a car window. <laughs> Clap if you think you can get in trouble for that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are idiots. Uh, you can, it's a leaf, it's biodegradable. Yeah, you cannot get yeah. in trouble for that. That is not how that works. 
Uh, we got in a big argument about it, though. She's like, what if somebody slips on it? I was like, what is this, Mario Kart now? What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> we don't fight, though. We, we do get along really well. I just don't, I just don't pick arguments anymore. Uh, I think that first wife I had probably helped a lot with that. Uh, well, my second marriage, yeah, not going great. Um, I don't really like to talk about my ex-wife on stage. I don't like to do jokes about her. Uh, Cause she wasn't fucking funny. Was mostly why. Yeah, she was a bad person. Um, she still is a bad person. She's out there somewhere. Um, not an evil person, just a shitty one. Um, my ex-wife. She was a kind of person who would cheat at bar trivia. You guys. Ooh. Yeah, always hits a nerve. I caught her blowing a dude when we were at bar trivia one night. Uh, oh. Yeah, not everybody was on board with that. Some people are still very confused by what just happened. They're like, I don't get it. Were, were the answers in his dick? Did you win the $20 gift card? We did, don't worry, it was worth it. Uh, yeah, it all worked out, it's fine. I'm very happy. Uh, my new wife is great, she's wonderful, she's beautiful. Uh, she's gullible, which is something I look for in a woman. Uh, yeah, she, uh, <laughs> She believes a lot of dumb things I tell her. Uh, <laughs> we have this thing where uh, I, call it, I call it crying Steppenwolf. Uh, when we're in the car together where I make up uh, what I think songs are about and she gets really mad about it. Uh, the other day, the song Take It Easy by the Eagles was on. And I said, honey, this song's about butt sex. And, she's, and she said, what? And I said, listen to what he says. I'm running down the road trying to loosen my load. Come on, baby, don't say maybe. I gotta know that your sweet buns are gonna save me. Come on, what do you think he's... She's like, that's not even what he says. You're a dick. <laughs> Next song that came on was Here I Go Again on My Own by Whitesnake. I was like, this is about a young man having some time of self-discovery in his room by himself. <laughs> She's like, how do you get that? I'm like, listen to what he says. Here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. What do you think he's doing in there? Come on. She gets super annoyed with all that. She's like, you've got to stop. Uh, I was like, all right, I won't, I won't do it anymore. Then the next song that came on was Pearl Necklace by <laughs> ZZ Top. Yeah. I was like, honey, you know what this song's about? She's like, I don't want to know. I was like, all right. She still thinks that song's about jewelry. Uh, I think some of you guys think that song's about jewelry. You should Google it later. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've been trying not to be so fat all the time. Um, yeah, not great, but I, I've been going to the gym. I did 13 miles on a, on a stationary bike the other day. So yeah, I felt good. I felt good about myself uh, until I tried to get dressed in the locker room afterwards. I got a cramp in my ribs. You ever get a cramp in your ribs and you can't move away from it and you can't breathe? And there's a lot of half-naked old dudes looking at you like, I don't know, is he having a heart attack? They're just waiting. <laughs> Um, they're like, is his heart lower because he's fat? I don't know. Should we, should we help him? Just waiting for me to hit the deck like Chris Farley, you know, just like, oh. Don't pull back on me on that one, Portland. I, people get so upset. I didn't kill him, okay, you guys? I love Chris Farley as much as the next guy. Uh, but he had to die, okay? Uh, he'd be making shitty Adam Sandler movies right now and we would all hate his guts, all right? It was the only way we could save him. Uh, I don't care if you get sad. It's not a popular opinion, uh, but I'm, I'm sticking to my guns on this one. Also, I'm a, I'm a large man over 30 years old and guess what? I don't do cocaine, all right? There's certain things that you can't do when you're fat. One of them is cocaine. The other one is have sex in the front seat of a car. All right, you got to learn to stay in your lane. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, I think it's appropriate on the Shebop episode that you would say blowjob about eight times in your first one minute on stage. A lot of blowjob yeah, talk. Was, was it? All right. It was. <laughs> Did you guys notice? Yeah. Seemed like a normal amount of blowjob talk. <laughs>
No one else noticed but you, but that's okay. <laughs> I noticed. Well, I'm a, I, I'm a good listener. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody else is. Uh, it's nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. Congratulations on the helium. And you said you just went to one of their new... Well, I, yeah, I went to a Fox. club, a brand new open club in Eureka uh, called Savage Henry, mm. which is a, it's a, a humor magazine in California. It's like, it's humble, it's like High Times meets uh, Mad Magazine kind of thing. Oh. Uh, really? It's really entertaining, but they opened a comedy club uh, about the same size of this place. It's nice. Uh, so I went down and headlined that with my buddy Jake Silberman. It's great. Wow. He's great. Yeah. You guys know Jake, Jake Silberman? Silberman? Yeah. Name yeah. He's, uh, we have a podcast together called Brine Time about the Portland Pickles baseball team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and two, two redheads. Yeah, yeah, two curly redheads just driving across America. And do, does that High come High fiving each other real hard. <laughs> <laughs> do, does, the, does the redhead, the ginger, does that make it into the podcast a lot? Not really, no, because they can't see us. We try mm -hmm. to keep that. <laughs> try to keep it a secret. I don't know. I would, I, I would let, I'd let that out in the world. No, I, no. I realized, uh, you know, later in life that that I love redheaded, like bearded, ginger, bearded yeah. gingers, mm -hmm. and tonight's full of bearded ginger gingers in our show. Lots of bearded gingers. That's awesome. Yeah, my boyfriend's a bearded ginger. So I'm just saying, my, well, you're married, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if the. Uh, the people who love uh, college wood bat baseball really care if we have red beards or not. <laughs> you might be surprised. Could go either way. So yeah. Are you I a huge baseball a fan? Is that big baseball guy? We're going to spring training in four days. Like, wow. To watch the watch, fifteen of the thirty teams. I have play. seen yeah. one of the pickles games once. It's great. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love minor league baseball. What well, I hate it? all baseball, but okay. I went as like a goodbye party. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, so why would you? Ex well, I don't blame the pickles for the fact that you hate baseball. <laughs> okay. Well, That's I was really sitting fair. like on the side, and I was petrified because there's so many loose balls that could just kill somebody, and I was, I was amazed that nobody was scared. <laughs> And there's kids running around, there's grandmas, <laughs> and I'm terrified. And they're like, the, one fly ball, there goes Ellis. You should just go. You should just go on Helmet Day when they give out like free helmets, so you'll yeah. feel safe. You know, they actually so. do that in Japan because they do have nets all the way around. It is there are issues, but um, not so much. <laughs> well, okay. Question. In Japan, you can buy special seats where they give you a helmet, and you get to sit right on the field. Mm. And those are just normal seats in America. You're sitting uh, in the danger zone. Yeah. So, yeah it's Do like you think a, more people get hit at a baseball game or at a hockey game? Well, okay, okay. I actually, oh. on this one, uh, on stats. hockey, like in the NHL, they actually added netting all around the yeah. rink because of that. Uh, the team that I root for actually, sorry, sad story here. Uh, the team I root for, uh, they, uh, about 15 years ago, uh, puck flew into the stands and actually uh, killed a girl. Yeah. So. Like she, yeah, it hit her like right in the neck and she went home and then they took her to the hospital and she, and she passed away and that's when they part, put uh, netting all around the rinks, so. But a puck is a lot more dangerous, oh, I yeah. think, that like those things are hard uh, they, uh, Baseball, it's pretty bad. I don't I know how we got them. into this, but. Yeah, uh, no, 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 just, actually, actually, this, there we're was not a, there We're was not, not afraid to go there. We're not afraid to go there. That was a, well, the thing, the thing that changed it for, the, for Major League Baseball is a two-year-old girl Took one to the dome at uh, Oh God! At Yankee Stadium. Oh my God! <laughs> and so it was we're like validating they had to stop. all of Dave's fears <laughs> right yeah. now. This is not what I expected. Yeah. But yeah, there. This is like you're not gonna get hit in Portland. It's yeah. Do you? Do you <laughs> <laughs> it's only, it's only minor leagues. They don't. They don't. They're get not it. even minor leagues. These are college. These are college. Like, these are college okay. kids. Yeah. Do you, do you like all baseball? I love all baseball. So yeah. I'm from Boston. So yeah. you can. We went to Fenway last year. It's it's awesome. It's yeah. Is it, that where the green monster is? It is. It is. Oh, yes. Awesome. Hey. Yeah. Hey. So so here's a yeah. little get to An old lady duck. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I was going to turn it around a little okay. bit. I was hoping. Uh, so my brother's uh, best friend in high school had um, a lifetime pass. Like his great grandfather was like a commissioner of baseball. Wow. Cool. So he had this like bronze pass and could go to any game, bring as many people as he wanted. And his cool. little sister was my age. So we'd all be like, well, we should go to the game. And we'd yeah. drive into Boston wow. and we could sit right, right along the first the baseline in the danger, the danger zone. zone. Oh, yeah. Danger zone. Yeah, Which talk to the players. It was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I learned how to high five. That's okay. what I was trying to get to. <laughs> 
it twice in six minutes. I don't think <laughs> blowjob blow blow were blow really, job. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Luke, can we, can we go back up and sit replay? All right. It's okay, I thought it was appropriate. Well, it's a fun game. So who, the pickles are a college game? Yeah, it's summer, it's college wood bat. So it's like summer, like the Cape Cod League okay. uh, is, is what they have on the East Coast. And then there's like, there's a bunch of them all through the country. And so they're like mostly Pac-12 kids, um, like usually freshmen, sophomore, like younger. Great. Yeah. It's it's um it's a. I used to go to Emeralds really cool games thing. a lot too in Eugene. Oh, yeah, Those are fun because then the yeah. kids they they're so excited to go to the game. Go with my friend who had kids. The kids are like, I want to go. We gotta go. We're gonna miss the game. And you get there and they spend the whole game in line for different food items. Yeah, <laughs> and that's yeah. it. They're not with interested their in the game. On. Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, Everyone's switch, safe. Switching over to football, I really did like how the stadium was like five dollar beers and they made it like cheap for everybody. <laughs> they do two dollar Tuesday yeah. out there and it's six dollars to get in and then two dollar beers. So Yeah and nobody mm. gets hurt in football. Yeah. Well, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway we have a game we want to play with game. you. Game. Uh, <laughs> in, in, inspired Oh he's gonna he's gonna take a nap. Uh, uh, this couch makes me look fat. <laughs> And your shirt has parts that match, so it just makes you look like you have flowered leaf sh cutouts in your body. Okay, uh, we have a game called Ready Portland Beard or Wild Animal. Oh. Oh. show you an extreme close-up of an image you got to decide is it a beard or a wild Ooh. animal and I'm playing too okay so we'll see it's between the two of you okay uh, let's start with number one <laughs> beard or wild animal I, I would say animal I'm gonna go with animal that looks like an animals uh, like I, Color I, and texture. I'm gonna go animal as well. I'm seeing more of like a, a bird's nest. Somebody said sheep or goat, I think. I heard that. Yeah. The uh, lamb's wool. It's actually a monkey. Oh. Oh. One, one and one. Oh, we okay. still got it right. All right, number two. <laughs> Portland beard or wild animal? I'd say beard again. Um, yeah, go with beard. Also. I wanted to say the nest at Wyden Kennedy, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna say beard. Mm. You are both correct. Two and two. It is a beard. Oh, is that David Cross? That guy doesn't live in Portland. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I would know that guy if he lived here. That's true. <laughs> we all would. Number three. Beard. No, definitely animal. That's an animal. That's a horse's mane. Uh, yeah. Animal, yeah. Like animal from yeah. the Lion King. <laughs> it's two Pumba. It is Matata. an animal Pumba with a beard. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's three to three. You guys are good at this. Okay, number four. Portland beard or wild animal? Whoa, that's neither. That's a tongue and teeth. That's Jay's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. Uh, it is my mouth. <laughs> this is a llama. Ah! Ah. Has anybody seen the llama around town? There's been a well, llama. On the max. I'm on the max. On the max, on the max. Yeah. been all around town. I wrote it. All right, oh, number, five. number five, <laughs> number five. Number five. Some of the jokes are working. That's, that's uh, a beard. That's Hulk Hogan's mustache. It is. <laughs> Brother, that is. You're close. It is ZZ Top. Oh. Frank beard. Frank, beard. Frank beard of ZZ Top. <laughs> the one who doesn't have a beard. So yes. the answer is wild animal, right? <laughs> All right, two left. Next. Oh, I'll say that looks like a beard, so it's probably an animal. I think it's a, I think it's a hedgehog. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go beard. They're pretty sure it's an animal out in the audience. It is. That's a beard. Yes. Oh. Oh wait, but that is an animal. It's an animal. <laughs> this is Portland's best beard. That this is one not Portland's, Portland's best, best beard. beard. I think I think that might be later. No, yeah, <laughs> that's not, yeah. Oh, 
animal is a beard. Yeah, Sorry. Oh, beard. damn it. I st <laughs> the next one. <laughs> what could it be? Could it be? Yeah. I'm going to say animal. I think it's certainly an animal. It is Portland's best beard. Yeah. No, I do know that guy. I met that guy, and he also has a uh, cannabis uh, salve company. So Of course he does. Yeah. 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 Got to keep it nice. Probably uses it on there. Okay, yeah. last one, last one. Portland beard or wild animal? Animal. Uh, dander. See a lot of dander. Beard that <laughs> also had a good time last night? <laughs> I'll say animal. It is Chewbacca! Oh. Uh, I'd say you won, Jeremiah. Yeah. Let's give it up for Jeremiah! Go buy a CD. Uh, we'll be selling it at the Give it up, give it up. Here, I'm going to throw this. Who wants it? Who wants it? Whoa. Jeremiah Coughlin. Yeah, he's a delight. He's he, fun. He is. He's super sweet. So our... Uh, I think our, we're ready for some music, Bill. Take it away. So our next guest, our musical guest, was born in a tree and raised on a tugboat. Oh. He invented beards and rainbows. Uh, you can hear his music at samhumans.com. He has a new album in the spring. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Humans. <laughs> Thanks for having me, everybody. This is an edutainment song. Do you remember a few years ago when uh, we detected two stars colliding in the outer universe, like way out deep, and they detected gold in those stars, that collision of stars? Which means to me, that means we're living in a moment that's literally made of gold, which I think is a lovely metaphor for having Posi Vibes. <laughs> Posi Vibes gang sign, if you want to adopt that, we're welcome to do it. <laughs> Song on my new record that'll be out, you know, in a few weeks, months. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, can that be louder? It's, it's much, much quieter than it was. Maybe not. Technical difficulties, they're lovely. Sam You're very sweet, thanks. Yeah. I'm giving you signal, it's strong and loud. I can see it on the meter, it goes directly to you, so it's not on my end.
keep our fingers crossed. Call us a keeper of the light. Shadow on the tide, we are a dike against the night. A momentary madness, this is geologic time. We are a blip against the blackness. 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 In a universe that's empty, stars collide and go abide. And matter is made outside of time. Stars collide and go abide. And matter is made outside of time. We are the stars, the emptiness, the unexplained goodbye. We are the luck of the draw, the falling leaves and the tear-stained eye. We are living in the moment. Pairs of shoes on power lines. We are four amino acids, protons and the soul. We are living in the moment. A moment is made of gold. It's made of gold. We've dug a hole and too deep to see it. We see dirt on all sides. The dirt is made of protons, amino acids, and the soul. The dirt is made of stardust, it's more valuable than gold. The dirt is made of stardust, it's more valuable than gold. If they really want to call us, call us a keeper of the light, a shadow on the tide, we are a dike against the night. A momentary madness, we are a blip against the blackness. We are living in the moment. Oh, a moment made of gold. Oh, yes, it's real. Break yourself. Off a piece. Test that gold in the mind of your teeth. It tastes like gold. It spends like gold. It's mental money between you and me. Psychic currency for all to see. We are the stars. The unexplained goodbye. We are the luck of the draw, the falling leaves and the tear stained eye. We are living in the moment. Pairs of shoes on power lines, Four amino acids, protons and the soul. Living in the moment, a moment made of gold. We are living. Moment made of gold, we are 
with me everybody appreciate it troubleshoot that so we can bring them out for a second song but for sure uh we will have a short break at the end of the show and then he's going to come back and we'll definitely have time to mm -hmm. sort it out and you can see a special just for the live audience uh short set of sam hubin so stick around for that yeah, you're gonna want it. get the full experience yeah, the online full people experience. you're jealous again but that's okay yeah write about it in the comments <laughs> That, that you'll never read. No. no. Uh, all right. I think we've we've talked a lot about mm. about sex and our next guest. Yeah, is the sexiest. Yes, and uh, this person is also uh, not only a sex educator and has been at Shebop for eight months. Uh, so long. Yeah, uh, I mean eight years. <laughs> okay, that's that's uh, right. I was mixing up in the facts. Uh, also a mom for eight months. Oh. Yep. Creator and producer of Whoopi, a sex positive variety show, host of a podcast. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Anne Marie Jane. Oh my God, your boots, everything. Look at this. Yeah, outfit look at this. Man. Come on now. Thank you. I'm trying to find an alternative to ladies and gentlemen. It's a bad habit, and I got to break uh, it. I've got one. Yeah, what is it? Babies and gentle them. Oh, I love it. Because <laughs> I miss the rhythm and musicality of ladies yeah. and gentlemen with those other things. Babies and, and gentle, gentle them. And gentle them. Includes love everyone. it. That's perfect. And you don't sound southern when you're like, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I say y'all. I say y'all too. Sometimes, but it, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like Kentucky, and I'm like Gresham. Uh. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. But you've been here two seconds. I already learned something. So thanks already. For, I, for being I am here. a teacher. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and so for the eight years that you've been at Shebop, have you been a sex educator that whole time? Is it something you evolved into? Um, yeah. I mean, every day is sex education there because right. people come in with their questions. But mm -hmm. like actually teaching workshops, I was there for I think about eight or nine months before I started teaching workshops. Okay. Great. Do you want to tell everybody uh, uh, just a little bit about, and, and this is not, a, we just love you, Bob. I do, I do, uh, I really Yeah, do. this isn't anything official. It, yeah. Do you want to describe it? Shebop, yeah. So Shebop is a women-owned sex toy boutique. We have two locations in Portland, one on North Mississippi Ave, pretty close to here, and then Southeast Division and 32nd is our newer location. That one's been around for about four years. The other one, we're having our 10 year anniversary this year. Wow, nice. yeah. that's awesome, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I love Sheep Up. And I mean, you just walk in there and it's just normalized and it's just, tell me some information about lube, what's yeah. going on. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's an education space as well yeah. as a retail space. Yeah. There's not like a bunch of sales. There's no one in back masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> you usually yeah. like on an everyday basis. It's just yeah. clean, and I go in there, and there's like soccer moms and bowling alley attendants, and yeah. like it's just whoever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bowling and I think I, I I think there's a place for like fantasy or whatever, or like going to fantasy. Oh yeah. You know, I I just like feeling more like I'm just. Uh, I just want to shop for a practical item, <laughs> and I'm going to go here, and it's clean, it's well lit, and everyone's nice. And yeah. uh, and then the programs, the education programs, is part of the, sh the store itself, mm -hmm. arranges those. and Yeah, we do about four to five workshops a month on different sex ed topics, um, anything ranging from two nights ago I taught Back That Ass Up, Anal 101. Mm. Uh, I also do BJ's Wait, with hold, AJ. hold up, hold up. <laughs> Just best tip for bass that back that ass up. What's the what? It's uh, go slow. Use a lot of lube. 
And if you're gonna put something in your butt, it needs to have a flared base or a retrieval loop. Yeah. Write yeah. that down. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. We're videotaping you, right. Jay. We'll have it later. Okay. Yeah. If you <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you're one of the stories that goes to the emergency room to get something out, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. My friend was he worked in the radiology department in high school as like an intern, and there was a file, a big file of things that. Never came back. Yeah. <laughs> there's supposedly, I've never seen it, but there's a rumor that at OHSU they have big plastic bins where they store what they've taken oh, out of people's yes. rectums. Oh, yes. But I'm like, why are you storing that? That's taking up a lot of space, mm -hmm. you know? It, it sounds like, it, I, when you first were saying, I thought it was like an art installation. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like in a big garden, it's like, beware, here's some samples of, this could be you. I think that's a good idea, honestly. And this could be your rectum. <laughs> uh, what are the other classes that you teach? Oh, um, BJ's with AJ, a, a fellatio workshop. Mm -hmm. Bon Appetit, the fine art of cunnilingus. Um, they don't all have ridiculous names. I teach one called Beyond Monogamy. Consent classes, safer sex classes, classes on threesomes, you know, the usual. Whoa, okay. <laughs> the usual. I, use for me. Yeah, I was recently, well, not kind of recently, like, like six months ago, was like offered to be the third in a threesome. Yeah. I said no, but why? So, yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Why, why. did you? Um, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> It is an extraordinarily personal question. Uh, you know, uh, I just feel like for me, I just, I don't know. It would depend. I just, I, I, I am a jealous person. I just am. So I feel like. No, I'm not against it. I, it's, it's just, I, I think I'm just very like monogamous as well. And like even like porn that I enjoy, um, if there's like a third comes in, I'm like, no, click, you know. Really? Like, yeah, I just like, mm, you know, no, like the locker room's full, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to each their own. Right, right. I was gonna say yeah. everyone just kind of knowing I mean, who you are yeah. and what like what your own that. personal I want them in matters. The world, but not not over here. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that's why I think not only is there a lot of judgment and shame associated with sex and like not just lack of education, but so much miseducation. Oh, yeah. Uh like in London too, and in, in like straight up oppression. Like in London they have outlawed porn that includes uh, what was it? Um, any kind of uh, female ejaculation what? and spanking. Face sitting. And face sitting now too? Yeah. Any kind of face, face sitting? That makes me so upset. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the patriarchy just stomping on people. Yeah, and when you, th you know, uh, films that are rated, have you seen um, uh, this film not yet rated? Uh -uh. It's about how a lot of films that are rated X it's because they have too much uh, footage of women's joy, women's pleasure. Mm. I yeah. think there's very little as powerful in the world as a woman at heights of ecstasy. Oh yeah. It's like oh, it's terrifying true. to people, but like, mm. Well, like why, why is everyone, I mean, it has to come from fear. Like why do you think that- it's just so hot. <laughs> And it's like out of control, right? Like, I don't know, what do you think? What's your theory? You work in this field. On why people are afraid of women's of pleasure? Of women, yeah. I mean, I think that people are afraid of women's power in general, and one of our main power sources is our sexual, like, energy, our sexual creativity, and the ability to uh, have more chances to have dates on OkCupid okay than men. <laughs> <laughs> True. You know, like if there's any area, any one area in the world where women have privilege, it's online dating. Um, but. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm sure, it's balanced out by some other things, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. Half, my half I said half. anyone. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, the list is small. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that that is hopefully changing, but you see a big pushback against it. There's a lot that's just been happening in our country. I know you're talking about London, but a lot that's been happening in our yeah. country about like SESTA and FOSTA and sexual censorship. I've had ads taken down from Facebook. I've had posts on Instagram taken down just for talking about a, an educational topic, mm -hmm. like nothing lewd. I'm not showing my anus, not <laughs> on Instagram or <laughs> elsewhere, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, just for just for talking about pleasure. Well, in our first late night special, we talked about 
uh, a tech conference where a woman made an invention that was like this awesome sex toy. It was like, nope, they, or they won and it was taken it away. It was taken back. Yeah, and it's like, that's bullshit. Yeah, it is. But the designs on some of those sex toys is incredible. Yes. They should win design awards. Yes. They're, yeah, they're really impressive. Yeah, I was impressed by like the technology at Chebop too, mm -hmm. and everything's displayed so nicely. It's exp it's not cheap. Uh, some of those things either, like because no, you're some high quality stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, because when I'm shopping for a dildo, I want cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, I'm is it more like than four dollars? <laughs> 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 You, hey, you got anything less than 250? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want a broomstick and a splinter. <laughs> no, just say you can't. <laughs> oh, no. I don't um, know if a broom counts as a flange base or not. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I think it would. I guess. You, yeah, I guess. And you know that the like, theories about witches were that they were putting hallucinogenic salves on brooms, and that's where the imagery of, because you can absorb things yeah. uh, through your vagina. Uh, mm. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yes, like some but wormwood. not acid because it wasn't made in a lab because it was yeah. a long time ago, mm. so it was made out of uh, salves from nature, and they were, I, th I thought everyone knew this. No, no. <laughs> we're all learning a lot here tonight. <laughs> that's how you oh, lose no. Lube up with a broomstick with a little hallucinogenic thing and go for a ride. That sounds awesome. <laughs> right? That sounds awesome. I want to take a whiff. You don't have to back. necessarily put it in. You can, like, slide it. Yeah. yeah. We should bring that back. Maybe not on brooms, but on dildos that are yeah. body safe and splinter free. This yes. also sounds Easy like the clean. next uh, Shebop class. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Witch, so sex for witches. Sex for witches. <laughs> are the workshops free? Do they have a cost? Uh, most of the workshops are 20 to 25 dollars, but some are less expensive if they're more focused on communication and consent to make those accessible. Um, they usually sell out about two to three months in advance. So wow. Wow. yeah, we've got like wait lists that are very long, so they're very popular. Um, but you know, it's worth it, and we repeat the ones that are really popular so that if people don't get in the first time, they can attend a future class. Um, and like, don't betray any confidentiality, but like, what are sort of um, a lot of, maybe some of the success stories that you've had? Like people taking your class and I, I can imagine that they're probably like very thankful. My favorite story, I think, from Shebop is actually about lube. When I was working there, maybe in the first year, someone came in and they were telling me like, oh, I'm always constantly getting uh, BV and yeast infections and I'm just, it's making life uncomfortable, it's making sex unbearable, what can I do? And I said, you know, have you checked to see if you're allergic to latex? And they're like, yeah, it's not latex. And I'm like, well, let's, let's get you a new lube because they were using KY jelly. And that has glycerin in it, which acts like a sugar. Sugar inside of a vagina is not good news. Mm. So I got them some nice organic, paraben-free, glycerin-free lube. They came back a couple months later and they're like, AJ, you are my vagina's angel. <laughs> I was like, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. I love yeah, that. It was really special. What a gift. Yeah. What a gift. And now I have found that sex is getting better as I get older. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've always enjoyed sex, thought I was like there, you know? Yeah. And then as I've gotten older, I've been like, wait, there's this whole level and then this whole level? Is that a common thing for, for women as they get older? Absolutely. I think a big part of it is mental. Like, you just stop giving a shit. Once you hit, like, in your it's 30s, true. like, in your 20s, the whole time it's like, oh, how do I look during this? Like, do I sound right? Like, how am I smelling? And then in your 30s, you're like, I'm sexy. And in your 40s, I hear people are like, not only am I sexy, but, like, I can rock the fuck out of you. Like, yeah. there's this extra level of where you have, like, confidence because you've been there, you've done a lot, and you're not as worried about, like, who thinks things. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, like, sound is a big part of it. It's like the, the pop culture, right, if, like, when Harry met Sally, or, mm -hmm. you know, where she's like, yeah, yeah, and it's a very sexy sound, or, um, you know, in porn when they're like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's like, like when you're really having great sex, sometimes it sounds like, ugh, ugh, what? Are you fucking kidding me? No, what's happening? Is it, is it really good? They never show that in movies. <laughs> is it really good sex or is it an animal? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, have, you have to not give a fuck. <laughs> 
so well, we love she bop <laughs> and we like the you do give a lot of gifts to everybody and help everybody out um, and and we have yeah. a gift that we, we want to give back oh a special goodness. gift for it's you. a tribute uh to she bop mm -hmm. that we've prepared yeah um That's so sweet i know i'm <laughs> we're so sweet here <laughs> like <laughs> night special <laughs> um and uh we're gonna get get in place here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I was hoping it's some of that hallucinogenic sass. <laughs> yeah. no, you know, can, maybe you and I could work on yeah, that as something to be show. a she about. But uh, <laughs> we have a, a presentation for oh. you, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Wait, Th them. I gotta babies go. Babies and gentle them. Yes. Babies and gentle them. <laughs> <laughs> the late night special dancers. Yeah. same time. All right, thank you so much thank for you. being here. Give it up for Anna and Jay. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then, oh wait, where is your uh, variety show? Is it around? Does it move around? Uh, it's at Bossa Nova Ballroom. The Great. next one's coming up on April 20th. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Amory Jay. Sign up for a class in two years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's called Whoopi, a sex positive variety show. And her podcast is called Sex on the Brain with Amory Jane. Uh, she's magical. She's Ooh, so magical. Awesome. <laughs> and it's just so nice. It's, it's crazy I, that I we would, have I to be that sex positive. Mm -hmm. so like sure that, like that anybody is sex awesome. negative. <laughs> what a Puritan nation. Yeah, I want it to be sex positive. Like you pull a rabbit out of a hat or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, that turns out that's a perfect segue. Is it? <laughs> it is. We have a little magic coming up. Uh, this show is so good. You, you're all, you know, it just keeps getting better. How could it get better than that? <laughs> <laughs> How could it get better than this ghost dick? Is that <laughs> so, so this one, <laughs> this one glows in the dark. Uh, and we, we made a, um, 
Thanks, Thomas Edison. We made a dildo <laughs> ring toss. And these were donated by Fantasy, which was very nice of them. But this one was the trick one. It's very flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Our <laughs> <laughs> I got all excited. OK. <laughs> Our next performer uh, does corporate shows mm -hmm. and other shows all around Portland. Uh, please welcome to the stage Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. Well, hello, everyone. You guys hear me all right? Yeah. Good. Do me a favor so you grab that deck right there. And, and if you can take that one for me as well, great, thank you. We'll get back to those in just a moment. Um, well, I do a little bit of mind reading stuff, and I'm gonna need a little bit of help uh, during this process here. Uh, let me see, I'm seeing a, a lady wearing a sweatshirt right here. Um, yeah, 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 Th thank you. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor, okay, Taylor. Do me a favor, I want you to think of a number between one and 10. Don't say it out loud, don't say it yet. Okay, I just want you to think of, of a number. Okay, Taylor, you, are you thinking of one? Yes. yes, good, good, that was it. <laughs> yes, yes, great, great, great. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it took a second for some of you to catch up with that. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. We still love you, but uh, okay. Um, let me see, I'm gonna need an, another uh, helper here. A lady in red right here in the front. Great. Um, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to think of a celebrity. Okay. Can I get the music, please? I want you. I want you to any celebrity you want. You know, it could be music. It could be politics. You can win that. You can cut the music. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it, it could be theater. Any celebrity at all that you want to think of. Go ahead. What What would that celebrity be right now? <laughs> You know that class where they kind of teach you about taking a hint? You just <laughs> <laughs> missed it, didn't you? Uh, that's all right, okay. So what I did is I went on the interwebs, I printed out a picture of a celebrity that I had a premonition would be mentioned right here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, right here, Kanye. Yes, <laughs> Kanye West, yes, yes, yes. Now, some of you are kind of wondering, what if, what if she had said, like, Justin Timberlake or something like that? Well, I was prepared for that, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Constipated, yeah. <laughs> so, well, um, I'm kind of thinking, uh, let's see, the decks. Do me a favor. She open up those cards right there. Take a quick look through them. Make sure those cards are, like, normal in every way that... You know, they're not marked on the back. They're not all the same card. Uh, you know, they're, they're totally legit. So, ma'am, is, is it totally normal deck? Totally legit. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna be able to use that one then. Um, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this one, right, yeah, we'll go ahead and, and take, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, so, uh, so you had a chance to look through the deck? Okay, and did you shuffle it? No. You didn't shuffle it, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and shuffle it. Did you, were there any jokers in here? You didn't see any jokers, because I, I didn't check it ahead of time. We got to make sure that like no jo jokers in the deck. So the trick does not work with jo Okay, good. Okay, so since I've seen the order, we'll give it a little quick uh, mix here. And I'm going to have, um, let me see, this lady right here. Okay, um, you, do me for what's your name? Layla, yeah, that's close enough. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Layla, here's what I need you to do. I'm just gonna riffle down like this, Layla, and I want you to tell me you, when you want me to stop, okay? Just tell me when. Stop. Stop right there? We can go a little further if you like. <laughs> go a little further, okay. Stop right there? Stop. Okay, great. I, I, I don't wanna see it. You take your card, take your card, somebody hand it to her, and then take a look at the card, Memorize your card, show a couple other people your card. I don't want to see it, Layla. Okay, go ahead. Now go ahead and hide the card. You know, just put it somewhere where I can't, you know, wherever. You got it? Is it hidden? Okay, excellent. Okay, so Layla, this card, um, this card, I want to say it is, it is a black card. That's a little more reddish, more more of a red, <laughs> kind of a, kind of a, a, a darker, more re reddish black, like more red. Yeah. Okay. So good. Okay. So, so Layla, your your card, 
Don't, don't mess me up, Jay. Okay. okay. I, I like it. I like it. Okay. Your, your, your card, I want to say it is, it is a high card. That it's it's a it's a more a low a lowish high <laughs> kind of a yeah kind of a lower like yeah okay more of a lower high okay um, so so this low this low um, this low red card okay I think I think um, uh, I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna go for it right here this low red card it is like the four of diamonds <laughs> yes <laughs> seriously. Wait, now some people like to mess magicians up on stage. Did, you know, did somebody else see the card? You saw it and it, it's not the... Um, okay, backup plan, backup plan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, okay, this is the backup plan. You always gotta be ready for this stuff. Okay, um, so, so ladies and gentlemen, can I get a drum roll please? Would you guys be impressed if I had the card written right here? Yes, ready? <laughs> okay, so which one of these was your card? <laughs> what was the actual card though? Oh, two, hearts. two of hearts. Oh, okay. Well, you know, mind reading is not like an exact science, you know, <laughs> right. You know, some days you get it right, some days you get it wrong, but not today. So, oh! okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yay! You have a great night, Show. It's been super fun. Have you guys had fun? We do this, we do this every week. This we is our do. ninth show of 2019. Yeah, yeah. It's going by so I look forward to it every week. I do too. I'm proud of you. Um, but we do <laughs> I'm proud of you, Jay. I'll just keep going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't compete with six dicks. <laughs> Here's the thing, I got here and realized my shirt was a little transparent. And I was like, meh, right show for that. <laughs> so, you let him fly. Uh, um, so, coming up next, um, <laughs> we do need sponsors to make the show go. We don't have any yet. Uh, but so we do have like East Side Printing. East so, side we printing. do. We have East Side Printing. And uh, this, this sponsor has been on a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, she is one of our writers. Uh, and, you know, this, this, <laughs> this week, winter weather made for some messy traveling. Uh, a train headed for Los Angeles uh, got delayed for 36 hours near Eugene when Damn. a snowstorm put some trees on the tracks. And so, here, to give her her time for <laughs> sponsorship. Talk about her new product, help you stay safe this winter, is uh, our writer and sponsor, Erin Ryan. <laughs> this winter, the Pacific Northwest experienced rain, sleet, even accumulating snow. This makes for dangerous road conditions that many Portlanders are unaccustomed to. That's why I invented a fresh, cutting edge solution to help you stay safe when winter weather outside is frightful. It's called staying home. <laughs> <laughs> staying home is the affordable, secure solution to all of your winter weather woes. Too cold? Stay home. Hate scraping the windshield? Stay home. Unsure if your boots are waterproof, even though it's kind of bogus, they make boots that you can't get wet? Stay home. <laughs> oh no, did you slip on your icy sidewalk and break a vertebrae? You in danger, girl. You should have stayed home. <laughs> now some of you may be asking, Erin, what 
what if I'm already out when winter weather strikes? Don't worry. I'm pleased to announce our new travel size solution. My cat is sick. Yeah. Oh, wow. Looks like the snow is really coming down out there. Oh, my cat is sick. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's that easy, folks. <laughs> and these products don't just work in winter weather. Use these solutions to avoid other unsavory tasks, like dinner with your in-laws, conference calls, or listening to white people talk about Green Book. <laughs> so stay safe this winter and order Stay Home or My Cat is Sick today. If you call in the next 10 minutes, you'll have first access to our fall offering. I don't know, I may have a thing. <laughs> which is currently slated for an October release. Don't wait. Stay home and call now. Karen <laughs> Ryan! Just stay home. I'm glad you guys didn't stay home. Yeah, I'm glad everybody's here. We got one more thing. We've <laughs> been so upstaged by a... <laughs> there we go. Um... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> it's just they're so, uh, well, this one I don't versatile. know. Versatile, they're versatile. Yeah. Re I was going to say realistic, but I don't know how realistic that one is. Uh, or too realistic, I guess. <laughs> it's disturbing. OK, uh, we're going to bring back our musical guest. Mm -hmm. We think we worked out the technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And we're all gonna uh, say a little prayer for Sam Human. Sam Human. Sam Human. He's back. <laughs> Somebody just said, "Which one, Sam?" <laughs> Wild animal. somebody when you touch somebody somebody true and you know it's real for you and you know it's real for them too it's more than
Thank you, I'm Sam Humans. Yeah.